It's Comic-Con in a box, but without the nasty smell. I'm pretty psyched about this one. What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and I just got this in the mail. This massive box It's also called Booth in a Box from MezcoCon 2020. Janelle and I, hello Janelle, how are you? We're supposed to go to Comic-Con this year, but an evil, evil virus decided to take over the world. And we were like, uh-oh, what are we gonna do? Mezco says, you know what, Dex, don't worry, we got you. And we released the con in a box. This is a wonderful deal. This is $160. Shipped was around 200 I think, and plus tax. And it comes with a whole mess of stuff, and I can't wait to open it. This is my very first Gomez action figure. I always get a request, hey, did you get Gomez? Did you get Gomez? Did you get Gomez? Well, today I got Gomez, okay? For all the people who ask me every time I go to Comic-Con, did you get him? And I always say no because I don't know what the deal is with Gomez, but supposedly he is Mezco's mascot. So that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to look at paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. And we're going to definitely look at accessories because there's nothing but accessories. Jeez, this box is loaded. Enough of me talking! Let's get this open. Let's see what's going on here. Pretty psyched about this one. What's up, everyone, on Discord? On twitch.tv forward slash dstar01. Thank you for jumping in on the stream. This is a very long stream today. We have a bunch of action figures we're going to review and unbox. And look at this. We get a shirt. It's pretty nice. We're going to look at that at the end. We're going to get right into the figure at first. Ooh, what's this? Janelle, what's this? Are you excited? It's like a comic. It could be a comic. I don't know. Let, let's open it up. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Congratulations. You are officially the proud owner owner of Mezits. Oh, it's a Mezit. Okay. So, oh, look at that. We even get all kinds of like a pass and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And we get a, ooh, a very small four point five points of articulation agent gomez mesco exclusive on a card should i open this oh man he's sealed i don't, don't want to open this it looks too beautiful that's not what we're here for anyway collected, yeah we're gonna look at all this stuff later we need to get we need a we need to look it at the action figure that's what you're here for you're here for the action figure you're not here for really anything else uh <laughs> and of course uh let's look at the box Janelle, look at this. Let's see if we can show it off on the top cam right there. Ooh, look at Gomez. He's looking really good in the con in a box. And you can also use this box. Look at all this cool stuff. Janelle, can you see this from here? Can you see this? Let's go to the front cam. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's look at that. See, you even get oh. Gomez in, in the box. He's all like, thank you for <laughs> purchasing me. And I'm like, you're very welcome, Gomez. I'm pretty excited about this one. Because of the fact that Mezco could do whatever they want with this character, because it's their character, they can put as many accessories as they want. So supposedly this figure has a bunch of accessories. We're going to look at it. And I'm pretty psyched about this one. There's a lot of stuff here. My goodness. Lots of unboxing going on here. And we got Clan of the Golden Dragon. Look at this beautiful box. Hunt. Very simple. Does Gomez have a comic? Uh, someone in chat tell us, does he have a comic? I don't think he does. I think there mm -hmm. is a comic by Mezco. They just kind of do whatever. Yeah, they do whatever. They, they, they can promote this character all they want. Uh, I really wanted the skateboard version of this character, but I did not get it. I think he came out like two years ago when I had no idea what he was. And then next thing you know, he's worth so much money on eBay. And that's how the top cam looks like. Look at all of this wonderful, beautiful gold accessories that we're looking at here. Wow, wow, wow. And it doesn't even end there, Janelle, oh look! My gosh. It doesn't end, like I said, there's nothing but accessories with this guy. Okay, we, we get the boom box, we get a bunch of toys. hands. You, wait, you were saying? Can we use those accessories with other toys? Yes, absolutely. This is based off the once 12 scale, so you can definitely put them with like Punisher, um, any of your Marvel characters, sure, if you want to put them with John Wick, why not? And of course we're going to look at that when we look at other action figures when we compare it in articulation and scale. You got a stand and everything like that. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Last but not least, this is, oh, is this a sticker? It is a sticker. Is it? Something. It's something. And you do get the Clan of the Golden Dragon. It looks like a large sticker. And of course we get the 
112 certificate type paper thingy saying, hey, this is not a toy to give to children because they will break it. And this comes with every Mezco action figure. So enough of me talking about that. Let's jump right into this guy, right? Let's see if he is worth the price. I think he is just by looking at accessories. Even if the figure wasn't good, I'd be like, ooh, look at all these accessories. If you have NECA Ninja Turtles, you can put them with the NECA Ninja Turtles and they'd have gold stuff. I'm pretty psyched about this one. Janelle, take us to the front cam. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Let's look at Gomez in his beautiful gold gi ninja type outfit. Let's get some more light here. And that's it right there. He's looking absolutely fantastic. Of course, just like all Mezcos, we have real cloth type uh, outfit right here. And that looks really nice. And it's nice and ruffled up. Really large and in charge type uh, gi here. It's pretty baggy is what I'm trying to say. That looks really nice. We have the shin guards right there that look really cool. And the um, forearm guards right there. And most importantly, you want to look at this insect-like face. Oh, look at that. That is disgustingly awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I... Are you not feeling... Oh, as the head flies out. Like Hold on. Everyone, stand by. The head was really loose. I had to... It flew right off. That was pretty exciting. Of course, you can always find this exciting stuff when you join our stream. So let's look at this head one more time. It has a really weird look to it. It's just, I've always thought Gomez looked weird. And this is how he looks like. It is a glossy black, and it looks like we have some gray shading in between. So you do get that insect-like head look and feel. And for some reason, he has a human neck. <laughs> he is a humanoid type so there you have it that is it when it comes to paint detail uh, it looks really good I love the the gi slash hoodie type thing and look you can even see the golden dragon in the back right there uh, one more thing I have to know okay just what I thought so you can pull off the antennas and he has holes in his hoodie so this is something I wanted to see for myself because I saw that and I'm like, how are they gonna do that? And it looks like, yeah, so, ooh, I hope that it can fit. So let's try to get the antennas into the hoodie. If we can, we can. And if not, then I'll be pretty sad. Gosh, I'm just, okay. my brain is slow. <laughs> okay, all right, so there you have it. We have it on and that looks absolutely amazing. Let's move on to articulation and scale. I'd have to say, this looks good. Everyone in the comments and in twitch.tv forward slash dstar01. Let me know what you think. Does this look cool? Was this something that you'd want to get if you were at Comic-Con? Let me know. Let's look at how tall he is. He's standing at the very top of the uh, antennas. He's seven inches. But at the top of the head, we're looking at six and three quarters. Let's compare him with other action figures. Sure, why not? We got the Figma Goblin Slayer. This isn't a goblin, so he doesn't have to worry. As you can see, Mezco always scales a little bit bigger. Uh, more accurately, it should go well with Marvel Legends. And here's a Marvel Legends Captain America. And here is a UI Goku from SH Figure Arts. We have a custom Super Saiyan 2 SH Figure Arts Goku right there. We have a 1990s Rio of the Wildfire. If you're wondering why I have this, because I have the new Rio from Ronin Warriors, and then we're gonna look at that in another video. Anime Heroes Deku. And of course we have, whoops, Mafex John Wick. So that's pretty cool. Let's talk about articulation, standard stuff here. We have an up and down here at the ankle. Do we have a shin swivel? No, we don't, but we do have an ankle swivel right there. Looks to be a double joint knee. Ball joint here at the ankle, uh, and sorry, not at the ankle, at the upper thigh. We have a ab crunch. Huh, huh, huh. Looks like we have a really nice ab crunch. Uh, can he twist his waist? Not so much. It's really tight. Don't really want to mess with that too much. We have a looks to be shoulder butterfly joints, but his gi is a little bit in the way here. I'm trying to make it so he can cross arms. Everyone, give me one moment here. Uh, not so much cross arms, but it can go. It can work if you just finagle it just a little bit. 
Uh, we do have, ooh, is that a bicep swivel? Yes, that is indeed a bicep swivel. We have a double jointed elbow right here, ball and peg here at the wrist, and one ball joint there at the neck looking to be well above 20 points of articulation. Here we go. We're going to go into some articulation tests. We got a side kick. We got a front kick. We got him doing break dance moves. And then he goes into a head spin. And then he ends it with a one hand handstand pop right there. He's popping that move right there. And sure, you can test. Sure, he can do a sure, you can. Sure, you can. And of course, we have the let's fight that feel again. And last but not least, of course, we have the splits right there he can totally do the splits and he can give you a bear hug if you really want to as his hand falls off but don't worry we're going to handle that later as you can see right there he has really nice range of motion and he looks really good let me grab that hand everyone please stand by we got parts falling all over the place so far when it comes to articulation and scale he's really good it's a little bit large but that's fine now for the longest part of the video oh here we go janelle Take us to top cam for the longest part of the video. Let's look at here. Don't eat this. <laughs> Silica gel. Let's put that aside. Let's look at all these beautiful accessories. We got uh, samurai swords, katanas. We got ooh, we got all kinds of swords. We got like the the Chinese broadsword. We got size. We got um, not shurikens. What are they called? Kunai. Kunais, right? We got these things. Janelle, what are these things? The one with the chains? I don't know what those are. Need to see. You see them now? What are those? It's connected with chains. Anyway, we have those Good too. Question. I'm not sure. Someone tell me down in the comments down below. Janelle will moderate that. We also have a grappling hook. Wow, wow, wow. We got all kinds of stuff we're looking at here. We got golden heads right here. Whoa, this looks weird. This looks even weirder. Look at this one. This one's kind of like an ant now. Whoa, we it's got a, a roach. yeah, a roach Sorry. or something. This looks like he mutated or something. And then we got this one. I like the way this one looks better than the one that's on him right now, but we're going to do that later. We're going to switch it out. Oh, it's not over. You thought it was over. No, it's it's not. We're, we're going to look at all these. That's why you're here, so we can look at all. I'm pretty psyched. We got a staff with a blade at the end. We got, oh my gosh, a bow and a bunch of arrows. We got ninja stars, we got grenades, we got a knife, we got nunchucks, we got these blade thingies, we got claws here, wolverine-like. He even has a little plush doll of himself. That's really cute, I have to say so myself. And of course, every ninja's gotta be bumping on the boom box. Who has a boom box nowadays? We have 10, 11, 12 different hands. My goodness. This thing is layered because there's so much stuff. Oh, man. Uh, let's see here. We get an effect piece, which I thought would be solid plastic, but to my surprise, it's hollow. Oh, I thought it was, being, it was solid. I was wrong. We get a bunch of stickers right here. Ooh, you get decals and everything. We got sushi going on here. Uh, we got the little um, Gomez right there. We got the Shinobi in the style of Supreme right there. That looks pretty cool. We get, what is this? Oh, we get a case. Like It looks like it's foam to put all your weapons in. That looks pretty rad. Of course, we get the standard, what do you call this? The bag to put all your stuff. And we get the stand. Oh my gosh, there's just so much stuff. It is not ending. Okay, so that's what I thought. The foam stuff will go into the pockets so you can store them. That's pretty nice. This is going to be one of the longest unboxings, I think. I'm going to try to move this along as quickly as possible. And we got more bags. We got even more pouches and whatnot. Ooh, and we get a... Is this magnetic? Is it? I think it is. Wait, hold on, let me see. Yes! This is a magnetic stand so he can climb walls like your refrigerator. That's pretty sick. I'd have to say so myself. All right, Janelle, where are we starting? First, let's start off with the heads, right? Let's. We gotta start off with the heads. All right, take us to the front cam. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Janelle, how's it going in chat? Is everyone behaving? They're talking about toys. I just saw a notification that a moderator deleted like 19 messages. Jeez, that's a lot. That's that's too many. 
Anyway, here really, he this is. is too fast for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Nintendo64, if that's you moderating down there in chat. Let's look at this head right here. This is the gold head. I really, really like the way this looks because it matches his uniform. I love the way that looks. Uh, are the antennas articulated? Not so much as I thought they would be, but look at the details right there in the head. That looks absolutely amazing. Fantastic. Let's see how he looks with the other head. Not quite sure what he's trying to be here. What insect? It just looks weird. I think this one looks the weirdest. I have to say, maybe I'm putting it on right. No, that doesn't look right. Yeah, this one, not sh quite sure what that is. Uh, not my favorite one. So I'm going to leave this one on because this one's my favorite head. Yeah, absolutely. Love this one. Much better than the black one because uh, it matches the outfit. Let's start looking at weapons. Got the grappling hook. It has actual string to it, so you can you can actually hang this on something so we can hold on to it, but we're not going to do that today. Probably going to maybe do that in, in, in the showcase. I'm not sure. And now here's the hardest part of this video is we're going to look at each individual weapon. Oh, so many weapons. We got a sword here. Let's look at this. And that goes right in the sheath. That's really nice. We got the Chinese broadsword. I think that's what this is. Kind of kind of reminds me of a Chinese broadsword. And you get two of them, which is pretty cool. I love the finish on these. Janelle, what do you think of the finish on these? These are nice, super gold. Yeah, they're kind of kinda cool. like a metallic gold, yeah? It makes me think more along the lines of Kill Bill. Oh, yeah, Kill Bill, definitely, definitely. I can see that. And, of course, we have these on-chain type weapons right here, and we have the kunais. Uh, what I really need to do is we need to look at these hands so we can actually... Get, oh, there's there's a bad hand in there, Hunt. There is a very, very, oh, there... very bad hand. Oh, uh, no. We, well, no, we are very child-friendly <laughs> here. Family-friendly. Okay? We don't, we don't do that. We don't. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my there was goodness. a bad hand in there. Oh, my goodness. I did not naughty see that. Mascot. That's a yeah, very naughty mascot. And again, this figure isn't exactly for children. So what we need to do right now is we need to get the proper hand so we can have him hold as many of the accessories as possible, right? Uh, and then I guess we'll outfit him and whatnot. Uh, right now I'm having a little bit of an issue here. I think this is a very common thing with like full sleeved action figures is that you really have to pull the sleeve back and then you can pop it in correctly like that. Very bad hand. Come on, Gomez. Children are buying you. Man, that's terrible. You're not family friendly at all. We're not going to put that hand on, okay? Maybe I might post it in Discord. I don't know. Probably not because we need to keep with the family friendly aesthetic here. So let's see what we're doing Doing here. We're going to put on a Chinese broadsword. And also, when it comes to Mezco hands, I notice they're usually pretty soft. So you can easily put in any of their accessories with ease. And there's that with the broadsword. Let's take this one with the katana. There, I said I forgot. I was like, what is this sword? It's not a ninja sword, it's called a katana. There we have it, we have the katana right there. Let's keep going with the accessories. Let's just take them off, put them on. We have the size right here. And let's try to get this one on. Gosh, there's just so many. Janelle, there's so many. I think this is the most accessories you've seen on any action figure. Keep going like that. My goodness, it just doesn't stop. And of course, we have this the kunai. Be an entire collage of yeah, pictures. seriously, this this could have like a section all of its own. The accessories of the Gomez. Like really, this is like the reason to get Gomez. Yeah. All of the stuff. Seriously, <laughs> it just doesn't end. Of course. Okay, so we're pretty much done with that. We got to keep this review moving. So we're going to try to go through this as fast as we possibly can. Okay, there's just so much stuff. We got to see how it looks like on him. That's all we need to do, right? Nothing more, nothing less. We don't have to go deep into the to his poses and whatnot. We just got to get through this. This is just a lot of stuff that we're dealing with. Okay, now let's dump all this stuff out. Ah, it's a lot of stuff. My goodness. Okay, so let's move on. Let's get these claws on him. Uh, looks like, can I get these claws on him? Yeah, it should be fairly simple. Oh, that looks sick. Look at that. That looks so cool. Okay, no no fanboying right now. No fanboying. Move along. Got to move along. 
okay and we got this right here that looks pretty cool I really like that uh, we got the nunchucks okay let's see hold on and we got the nunchucks right there that looks really cool uh, okay we got the hand grenades and the shurikens uh, I guess we could try to put on the shurikens I don't I don't think I have the proper hands for the shurikens but sure why not let's just see how it looks like when he's when he's holding it something like that let's take the claw off let's see how he looks like with this little dagger thingy I don't think that's what it's supposed to do but I guess there you have it that's how it looks like and we have the bow can he even hold the bow correctly I think he can or he might have special hands for it that's how he looks like and I don't think I can put this on him as of yet and let's see how he looks like just holding like an arrow as his his bow falls off uh, we'll deal with that in the showcase again we got to keep moving because he has a lot of stuff and I think this is my favorite accessory just by looking at it I love this staff with the blade I, I know there's a proper name are people saying in comments right now? I'm not looking at comments and 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 chat right now because I'm really focused on getting this. There we go. Oh, that looks so cool. Look at that. We don't get any guns, unfortunately. All we get are ninja stuff. Oh, yeah, but that's that okay. that's okay. That's okay. And there you have it. He's rocking his boombox. Enough other special weapons yeah. to really make up for it. Yeah. Hopefully the next go. I think there is a Gomez with a bunch of weapons and. Of course, you got a rocket 1980s style, holding up your boombox like that, walking down the street. If only we had a stormtrooper, we could make it look like that guy we see. Yeah, every year that guy we Comic see Con. every year. I can't really get it on him correctly. I'm gonna have to finagle it, but yeah, that's pretty much what I was aiming for when it comes to that. And uh, got a bunch of pouches and stuff, but I think that's it. I think that's really all I want to do. And I think I'll put everything else. I'll show off everything else in the showcase just because of the fact that he comes with so much stuff. I don't want to sit here all day trying to put everything together. But so far, accessories and everything like that looks really cool. Last thing we want to do, last thing we're going to do before we end this video. How many minutes are we in? We are 23 minutes in. Okay, so this isn't exactly the longest review. But yeah. Hold on. I always have issues with this one. Give me a second. You have to push out this, and then you can go like this. Oh, really tight. Ugh. Bam. Bam. There you have it. Okay, Janelle. Let's come up with a conclusion of this guy. Uh, and then we'll look at the other stuff. <laughs> What's up? accessories alone. Yeah, seriously, this guy comes with so much stuff, it's insane how much stuff this guy comes with. I'm not a fan of the roach heads. No. But like people were saying, you could use this as a My Hero Academia like villain. Ooh, yeah, that'd be so, nice. It, I think it's worth it. I think that this is dangerous now that we know we like Gomez. Probably yep, in the and of course you have to get the villains. <laughs> yeah, he His villains are the skull people, and this is the shirt. Uh, and they have a pack of three, I believe. We missed that pack at a convention, at the uh, the art convention, remember? The one with the, what is, I forgot that convention's name, but we were invited to it. Which one? Was it Laguna or Long Beach? The one in, uh, no, not the, the one in LA Convention Center. It had like spray painting and shoes and stuff like that. Oh. Designer Con. Yes. They had the, the, skull, the skull group in there. And uh, that was pretty cool. We missed that one. Now we're going to have to get those. Let's take a closer look. Uh, before that, Janelle, I love this thing. I have to say, if you missed out, I'm sorry that you missed out. Go ahead. Go on the waiting list on Mezco. This guy is absolutely worth the money. I have to say. I can't wait to just pose and play with this guy. He looks fantastic. This is one of the most exciting releases. And he's not even like a super popular character. It's just the mascot of Mezco. I have to say, it, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Janelle, agree? Yeah. I agree. Yeah, pleasantly surprised with this toy. Yeah. Uh, let's look at this. This is their five points line, which is five points of articulation. Uh, they have a Adam's Family 
line or not line, yeah, wave, which has a bu all the Adams family, and this is another one, which is Gomez in the five points line. Five points mean five points of articulation: two at the legs, two at the arms, and one at the head. This one looks cool. I think I'm not gonna open this, Joe. Nope, not gonna do it. Everybody was saying just keep it in the box. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it in the box. I don't want to open it. It looks too cool. I think that's kind of the point. Mezco, um, key. I like that lanyard. What is this called? Lanyard, key lanyard. Ooh, all access attendee 2020. Unfortunately, there was no convention, so oops. Ooh, what's in here? So this is a Mezit. I remember they had a Mezit um, little thing a couple of years back where if you had the gold one, you could turn it in for a discount or a secret figure. Get a pin. Should I open the Mezit? Ah, oh, man. Why are you doing this to I me? I want to know what's in it. I do too. We get <laughs> stickers. Oh, we get stickers. Oh, yay. <laughs> oh, we get a H Squad patch. Going to put this on one of my vests for airsoft and mezco mondays show us your mesits and there you have it that's really it okay you know what if there's one thing i'm gonna open it has to be this one gosh i have a table full of stuff i don't think i've ever had this much stuff on my table oh that's cute we get a little gomez uh art he's articulated too he has a waist swivel uh two here at the legs and two here at the arms and the head. So we're looking at six points of articulation and he has his signature boom box right there and that looks really, really cool. Okay, I think that's it. I don't wanna to waste too much more of your time. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you're always in the know when we post new videos. And also don't forget to visit Janelle, here we go www.dstartoys.com your liable source for awesome action figures thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time peace